دوی بخت نسیده. اوه ناسن شتو ارگانیزیم، ارگانیزیم و بسیاری تری گونه دیزاین سو پروفسور تریکوسکی نو چیستو ولتیسکا. اصلا. Целта на на настанот е да го промовираме отворението на пристап во Република Македонија и да направиме вид на подигање на свеста за академското публикување со отворен пристап. Како што веќе претпоставувате, неделата на отворен пристап е светска недела на отворен пристап. Ова што сега го правиме во Македонија се случува низ цел свет. Угодно организираат варков тип на настани. Оно што е интересно да напоменеме е дека секој може да направи профил, секој може да организира варков настан, да промовира отворена академија, да промовира отворена наука, да зборува за отворен пристав, да зборува за работи кои што го зголемуваат зголемуваат приставот до академски информации, имајќи во предвид дека Република Македонија како една маргинална земја во контекст на научното издавашто во електронски смисол е на некој базично ниво. Целта наша со промоцијата на Open Access Week е да пробудиме нови варианти за научно објавување, нови платформи, кои што се најчесто базирани на софтвер со отворен код и да дадеме, да ставиме акцент на публикување со отворен пристап, кој што в нашиот случај најчесто се случува преку електронски вестници или електронски списани или и джурнас. So, if you, if you allow me, I'll continue in English. So I was just presenting the uh, Open Access Week event for the last three years in uh, Macedonia that we organized with Professor Tchaikovsky that will speak later on. Uh, this is the first time in three years that we have a representative from the uh, NGO, and I thank you for that. Uh, Irina Shubadir will be speaking uh, as a third speaker in uh, Sergio, Gino, uh, representing the NGO of Metamorphosis, who has done a lot for Open Access since 2004, I think. Um, in general, um, the Open Access Week in Macedonia is uh, organized on a voluntary basis uh, by uh, academics, professors, mainly editor in chiefs of uh, Open Access electronic journals, and supported by um, some of the faculty, sometimes it's supported, sometimes it's not. And, um, in most of the cases, we spoke about uh, open access publishing, about the platforms for open access publishing. Uh, last year, we spoke about Creative Commons, which is a platform for um, choosing your own copyright licenses for the sake of the commons. <laughs> and uh, this year, uh, I have to say we have two events. This is the, the first event uh, that you're going to see, the full that the live stream is okay, and then everybody is watching. And the second one will be at the Faculty of Medicine. And uh, uh, this will be the first year that we're going to present the free open journal uh, system platforms for the free pioneer open access uh, journals from Macedonia. Um, and that's uh, one of them is Professor uh, Tchaikovsky, a journal, a journal of special education, rehabilitation special education, uh, Macedonian Journal of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering. Macedonian Journal of Medical Sciences. Um, so, uh, for the sake of time, let me just shortly present the posters for the two Open Access Week events in the Republic of Macedonia. And uh, at the same time, I want to present the uh, Scoobit platform for the Southeastern Europe and everything that's happening about uh, open access uh, in the region. Uh, as you may see, apart from these two um, events in Macedonia, uh, we also spoke about the input factor uh, versus uh, open access.
access. That was like a couple of months ago uh, with Professor Tchaikovsky and Professor Skirovsky. And that was probably one of the first uh, lectures, open lectures, um, that we spoke about the uh, importance of uh, scientific impact. Uh, we mentioned scientometrics and also we spoke about uh, open access comparing it to the impact factor journals. Um, this is the last year's report for open access. This is the presentation of Open Journal Systems uh, platform of uh, Macedonian Journal of Chemistry and Chemical um, Engineering. So um, I would like to present to the world the, probably the most important uh, open access journals from Macedonia that this year had impact factor of uh, 1.079 which is the highest impact factor for all the open access journals in Macedonia uh, what's most important is that um, as previously, uh, previously mentioned um, these uh, three um, pioneer open access journals from Macedonia uh, Macedonian Journal of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering and Macedonian Journal of Chemical uh, Medical Sciences and uh, a, a journal of Special Education and Implementation have all uh, implemented the Open Journal Systems platform, uh, which I highly, highly recommend in the context of uh, indexing and standardization of uh, open access publishing. That's a big step forward uh, toward uh, building an information infrastructure and uh, trying to uh, be part of the world community that uh, implements these uh, open source uh, platforms that support the uh, OAI PNH uh, protocol, Open Archive Initiative protocol for metadata harvesting, which uh, actually represents um, an automatic harvester also supported by this case. Uh, why is this important? Uh, of course it's important because uh, the power of open access and the power of open science is its uh, network and uh, implementation of Standards. While you implement open standards, uh, you become part of a worldwide community and you share your knowledge with all the world on a standard uh, platform. Um, the main uh, goal of my uh, presentation uh, will be the uh, Mendeley platform, online reference manager Mendeley, which um, kind of represents, um, let's say, something different, but almost the same as uh, Zotero. Uh, I guess that uh, some of you may have heard of Zotero. Uh, um, Zotero is an um, online reference manager, same as Mendeley, but this is open source, and it can index the web and index the articles. So apart from Zotero, we're going to speak about uh, Mendeley today. <coughs> which represents a online reference tool for collecting your articles, art articles and um, uh, organizing your uh, research interests. Uh, these two platforms are very interesting um, uh, in the context of social networks because you may consider it as a Facebook, you may consider it as a Twitter but uh, this is uh, more organized on the basis of uh, topics. Uh, basically, in five to ten minutes, you can set up your own uh, online profile and uh, try to organize all the research interests. Uh, this is very easy to, um, even very easy to use, but uh, I've tried Zotero for uh, a month or so, and uh, I wanted to switch to a more easier platform, and that's uh, Mendeley. Um, why did I switch to Mendeley instead of Zotero? Uh, probably uh, because it was more user friendly. Uh, I'll try to wrap it up in five to ten minutes, explain the platform, explain why, why it's used, how can you use it, uh, what's the purpose of it, uh, how can you use the, the whole platform, how can you organize reference, open uh, references online and share with the world, etc. Um, 
basic thing. Mm. All, you, all you need to do uh, with mental is open uh, up a, a profile. Uh, you can, uh, I'm sorry about this. Um, you can uh, log in with your Facebook account if you want, which is not recommendable. But uh, you can open up a profile, and the profile goes uh, like this log in my profile. Uh, make your own uh, LinkedIn like uh, profile. Uh, tell to the people what you're interested about. What are your interests, uh, what are your professional experience, contact information, etc. Uh, after that, um, you can um, try and search for uh, papers. Uh, I guess that uh, some part of uh, Mendeley platform is open access, not a big part of it, but some part of it is open access. Uh, but the thing that uh, it's interesting. Let's say uh, first. Let's see uh, what's top uh, rate. So top publications like science. As you see, this is like the, the biggest open access journals, uh, open access journal in the world, plus plus one public library of medicine. And then, if you want to search for open articles only, uh, you can uh, check the box. Uh, I will encourage uh, Mendeley uh, to um, implement more open access in their own database so uh, researchers from developed countries, developing countries that don't have access to a big pile of databases uh, can use this platform and promote it as we do today in the context of open access in 2012. And uh, uh, I hope that. Uh, and then will become more open uh, towards open access movement. Uh, second thing that's really interesting is you can actually uh, become a part of the group uh, that's, uh, that interests you. Let's say um, we have a lot of different groups for interest and you can just join in. Uh, this is a very interesting group for my open archives uh, by Kate Taman from Japan. And let's say if you part of this group, uh, you automatically um, have access to the papers that are shared within the group. Uh, and then you can at least um, see what's interesting here and see how many readers of paper have. Um, why um, the third is uh, really interesting in the context of uh, citations? Um, because a big part of uh, Mendeley is, um, let me just log out. A big part of it is uh, based on a uh, Microsoft Word uh, integration, which means that um, by installing um, a small uh, plugin for Microsoft Word or, and installing also the also the uh, Mendeley uh, Desktop Reference Manager. You can organize your uh, articles and databases and also you can use Word for automatic uh, citation reports. Uh, what do I mean by that? Um, first of all you need to um, install Mendeley as a desktop manager part from your uh, network profile and then you need to install um, the word plugin when you do that you'll be able to uh, automatically uh, write an article in word and uh, search your online desktop mentally database insert a citation and then you end up with a writing of a paper or article you can just uh, automatically insert the whole video used for the, the whole process of writing the paper. Um, just let me just shortly wrap up. Um, why um, 
online. Uh, the online reference managers are important for the promotion of uh, open access. Because um, the, the main reason for using online reference manager and putting open access articles in your list of pages is that you are becoming part of the global world open access movement that organizes uh, its own uh, articles on an uh, open reference manager like Mendeley or Zotero. Um, I'm not going to talk about different platforms for publishing, as I said, because Professor Fek will speak after me about open journal systems, and uh, Irina and Seth will speak about uh, the open education resources movement. But I'll shortly mention that uh, open access and uh, open educational resources are something that uh, we all have use for and use it. The more we share, the more we uh, find uh, ourselves in a highly developed society that can use uh, peer review uh, sources, quality resources for uh, using them as a form of uh, formal learning, which needs to be done in the uh, Republic of Macedonia is promotion of uh, existence of the first open access journals, but I mean open access journals, who have um, in a way uh, uh, the Road, uh, the road toward uh, more open and uh, more quality science which is available for everybody in the world that's in the context of open access and open access publishing also promote open platforms like open journal systems which we're going to hear about it today and tomorrow too at the Faculty of Medicine and also promote the existence of uh, open source software like this space which can basically be used for uh, Green Gold Open Access uh, Road uh, to Publishing. Um, just to um, have a short conclusion on this, there is a lot of things to, that needs to be done in Macedonia, but with trying to promote uh, open access publishing from one side, from the academic side, from the academic publishing side, and uh, the availability and the existence of um, open educational resources as such not just movement, but uh, the materials that needs to be uh, firstly produced on a local level and then uh, used on a global level, of course. I will strongly encourage the uh, open access publishing in a uh, new platform, uh, PeerJ, which I didn't mention, and also um, the open access publishing for academics in Macedonia on the Plus One platform, which is currently $500 for the public of Macedonia. $99 for uh, peer J platform. Um, uh, so basically that was that was my presentation. I hope